first became familiar with city government and city officials while in the restaurant business. When I sold Little Big Horn to my husband's son in 2005, I became free to dedicate my time to serving the community where I was born and raised. For the past three years, I have had the privilege of serving on the city council. As a council member, I work very hard to make myself available to citizens at their convenience to address their questions and concerns. I was appointed by the mayor to the Pettis County Extension Board and currently serve as mayor. I was also invited by the Chamber of Commerce to join the CBB Advisory Board. And approximately two weeks ago, I was unanimously voted mayor pro tem. For the remaining 11 months in the mayor's term, my goals will be to focus on continuing to nurture the network of progressive ideas developed by Bob Lawson. I can't be Bob Lawson, but I can continue to develop upon his legacy of fostering good and fair government, and that has helped me to become a better leader. I want to foster a working relationship and understanding between each of our city departments and the city council. I will support each council member to become the best they can be. I will focus on working to clean up dilapidated properties and look into the feasibility of increasing <coughs> spring cleaning pickups during warm weather months. I will continue to focus on public safety, including good neighbor programs, and continue partnering with SDDI. I support a community center for Sedalia based on the direction of the community as a whole. It is something Sedalia needs, and I fully support the hard work and perseverance Mayor Lawson has shown in this effort. <clears throat> Current city operations have made vast strides in improvement over the past three years under the direction of Mayor Lawson and City Administrator Reesburg. I know the function and duty of all city departments, and I recognize the value of each city employee. Department heads and employees working under them are continually working to improve communication and the work environment. One improvement is the implementation of the citizen hotline, which allows one to call in and report needed road repairs, burned out streetlights, and other concerns of civilians. Another beneficial improvement has been the consolidation of the IT in City Hall. There is better accountability of goods and services contracted out and those performed in-house, helping to eliminate wasteful spending. There's continued emphasis on improving communication skills and systems. Sedalia is not alone in the economic struggles seen by families and communities across our nation. We are faced with a demand to do more with the same or fewer dollars. Amidst some difficult but exciting challenges, we must nurture creativity and goodwill in all our partnerships and endeavors. I have developed a working network with many points of leadership in Sedalia and Pettis County and among members of Whiteman's Air Force Base Community Council. I have had the opportunity to support Linda Crystal in economic development and believe we have a good working relationship. As your mayor, I will be honest, open-minded, and willing to work for the betterment of the Sedalia community. As your leader, I will be fair, firm, and as consistent as possible. I look forward to facing the challenges head on and the opportunity to develop Sedalia and the role the city council members play within our community. In parting, I challenge you to make the best choice among the candidates to fill the interim mayor position. Should you decide that candidate is not me, be assured I will respect, support, and work with the person chosen with the same diligence and respect as I have for the past three years. Should you choose me, I will work tirelessly to meet the challenges facing the council and all civilians. Thank you.